Hi, welcome again to Google Analytics question and answer session number two. In this session, I'm going to cover three questions asked to me by my subscribers. And these questions are, first question is about channel groupings and unassigned values in channel groupings. Second question is about user acquisition reports for user acquisition and traffic acquisition. And third question is really interesting is about funnel visualizations in Google Analytics 4. So if you have any more questions about Google Analytics 4, please post here and I will be sure to answer them in my next session and stay tuned for answers to these questions if you are curious about them. So let's get started with first question about channel groupings and unassigned value in channel groupings. As you can see on your screen, this is traffic by channel groupings and in this you'll see some percentage as unassigned value. Unassigned value in channel groupings is basically traffic that cannot be bucketed in any of the channels according to their current definitions. And you can find these current definitions on the help page which I am posting the link in the description as well. So take a look at these definitions and if you have traffic coming in which doesn't really fall into these definitions then it will be defined as unassigned. Unfortunately in Google Analytics 4 till now you don't have facility or ability to do custom channel grouping. So this is a default channel grouping which you have to rely on and because of which unassigned value can appear here in your traffic by channels. Hope that answers your question. Second question I have in this week is really interesting one. It's about funnel visualization. And in traditional Google Analytics or Universal Analytics, you had to predefine your funnel along with your goals. But that is not the case anymore with GA4. With GA4, you can build as many funnels as you want on the go without predefining it along with the conversion. And you can even build funnels for events which may or may not be tagged as conversions in GA4. All you have to do is click on explore tab and in that choose funnel exploration. The interesting part is in funnel exploration there are multiple options which actually make this really really cool. So first option is a standard funnel which as you can see for selected date range shows me what is session to start, what is session start and what's the drop off to cart and then what's the drop off to purchase which is the funnel that I have defined for demo purposes. But where it gets interesting is you can also look at trended funnel. What is a trended funnel? Trended funnel is funnel shown over a period of time on timeline. If you look at standard funnel, as you can see on your screen, it will show you all users for that period of time in one funnel. But in trended funnel, you can actually look for anomalies if there have been in any of the days. If any of the days have seen higher conversion rates or if any of the days have seen higher traffic but lower conversion rates, you can look at specific days at a different level. As you can see on this screen, 24th of March seems to be a little anomaly where traffic has increased drastically but the conversion seems to have increased only marginally. And in the trended funnel, you can look at specific events in the funnel or the entire funnel itself. So this is really cool way of visualizing funnel with GA4. There are other options like making funnel open, making some steps mandatory, etc. Maybe I should cover those in a separate session about funnels only. But I hope that answers your questions for now. Third question we have today is very specific to GA4 and it's about a very specific functionality that has come into GA4. This is about user acquisition and traffic acquisition. As you can see on your screen, there are two tabs here. First is user acquisition and second is traffic acquisition. In user acquisition, as you can see, the dimension is essentially first default, first user default channel groupings or mediums or source, etc. So this is a channel grouping or a source 
by which these specific set of users visited your website or your app for very first time so this is how users got exposed to your brand your website your app etc and traffic acquisition is how that specific session which got started by a specific source or medium or channel grouping so there can be a case where user first got acquired by google search and then subsequently the traffic acquisition happened via remarketing channels or subsequently the traffic acquisition happened via facebook or any other channel this way you will be able to balance between your acquisition channels and your remarketing or reach channels i hope that answers your question about user acquisition and traffic acquisition if you have any more questions about ga4 please drop in a comment and i'll be sure to answer them in my next session if you like to be updated about ga4 and all other marketing updates please stay tuned subscribe and like looking forward for your questions in my next session have a great week ahead